Welcome to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcasts. In this podcast, we'll dive into the quantum world and see how these technologies could be a game changer in the digital transformation of our healthcare systems. Want to know more? Stay with us. Quantum technologies draw on the principles of quantum mechanics, that is, the physics of subatomic particles, and they are leaving the lab to enter the real world. Examples of technologies powered by quantum mechanics include lasers, solar cells, atomic clocks used for GPS and MRI scanners for medical imaging, and they hold incredible promises, especially for the health sector. And the key is speed. Quantum computers using quantum bits instead of the traditional ones and zeros to crunch through operations could make calculations that would take today's fastest computer 10,000 years in 200 seconds. By enabling much faster and more complex data analysis, they could open the door to accelerated discovery and development of novel therapeutics, improved diagnostics and treatments, true personalized medicine, and better data-driven health policy planning. Speed, combined with a growing amount of health and medical data available, could revolutionize healthcare in the EU, reducing costs and saving more lives. Let's take a recent example, COVID-19. Already today, the European High Performance Computing Joint Undertaking, which aims at developing a pan-European supercomputing infrastructure, is busy searching for treatments against the virus. Now, a quantum computer could accelerate this process to the point that we could beat another pandemic before it even began. Thanks to quantum computing, clinical trials could also be done in a computer rather than a person or an animal and researchers would be able to rapidly sequence and analyze genetic information, giving better insight into the functions of the human genome and its interactions with the environment. All of this information could go into patient care to achieve true personalized medicine and even be used to predict and prevent illnesses. But as any other promising development, quantum technologies bring new challenges and risks particularly related to intellectual property, cybersecurity and data privacy. Let's hear Virginia Machia from the European Parliamentary Research Service. With more personal health data available under the European Health Data Space, ensuring the highest possible health data privacy will become a top priority. And there are many other challenges beyond direct patient care and health research, related to economics, trade and global competition. To maintain its position in the global pharmaceutical market and as a healthcare leader, the EU needs to be in pole position in this race. So how are we warming up to it? Well, through the Quantum Technologies flagship initiative launched in 2018, the EU is boosting research into all aspects of quantum technologies, from quantum computing to quantum simulation, communication and sensing, all of which have healthcare applications. Furthermore, as part of the European High Performance Computing Joint Undertaking we mentioned earlier in this podcast, the EU is also planning to build state-of-the-art hybrid computers blending quantum and classic computing technologies by 2023. And that's not all. EU countries have also committed to collectively building a secure quantum communications infrastructure. Truth is, if Europe wants to reap the full advantages of this promising technology, EU legislators must carefully prepare the ground for the possible changes that this developing technology could bring. Check out Virginia Mahieu's full policy brief on the EPRS website or in our app for more information. This is a European Parliamentary Research Service podcast. Thanks for listening. <laughs>